What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we got some new science for you. I have a bulletproof helmet. This helmet came from a company named Safe Vest. I'll put the link in the description if you wanna go order you something. Um, this is a level 3A. It should be bulletproof up to a 44 Magnum. I have up to a 38 Special myself. The company also offers bulletproof vests as well as the helmet and you know the times we're in you never know what you might need we got riots going on we got mentally ill joe biden getting into the presidency you don't know what you might need until you need it so i suggest link in the description go pick up some of this stuff it's on sale right now okay so what we're going to do to test this out we're going to be using bruce down here now i know what you're thinking bruce has boobs fake boobs no junk what better name than Bruce? Come on, guys. That's not your mother. It's a man, baby. So we're going to be putting this helmet on Bruce's head. Ah, it fits great. We're going to start off with a 22 long rifle and work our way up and see what we can get to penetrate. Okay, first shot. We're going to be using the Browning Challenger 2 22 long rifle. Right in the forehead. Right in, the, right in the skull, the top of the skull. It looks like it glanced off. I might do another shot. Let's check it out. It actually did hit in. It just looks like it glanced off, guys. It really dents that in, though. It did a lot more denting than I thought it would do on a 22. Bruce is good, though. We know Bruce ain't got no brains, though. All right, let's look at the inside. Got to take this padding out. It definitely didn't go through. It didn't end good. I'm gonna put a dent on the inside, which you're probably not gonna be able to see on camera. But if it didn't crack this, I'm pretty sure you'd be safe with a 22 long rifle hitting this. Well, let's step it up to nine millimeter. Okay guys, nine millimeter out of my Glock 26. I'm gonna be shooting some 115 grain brass tull ammo. All right. I'm going to aim for the other side in the front of the head. Woo. That looked like it caved it in pretty well. Let's go check that out too. Good great. Bruce. Oh, -ho. Bruce's head's just fine, guys. This dent, though. Look at that. And it caved in the whole side of the helmet. But, I mean, you probably would have a pretty good headache. Let me take this out. You probably have a pretty good headache. That does push the inside out. But it definitely stopped the 9mm. Let's stow it up to a 40. Alright, guys, time for the 40. We're just shooting some cheap, tall target ammo. Got it in my Glock 23 here. And you know, Bruce will probably like this shot better because his eyes are covered. He won't even see it's coming. It's over. Woo! I think Bruce's head's still okay. Let's check it out. All right, guys, Bruce's head's cracked a little bit. But he may he may be all right. He may live. I would, I would think he had hey, he'd have some brain damage. Yeah, he would have his skull is like coming off there. <laughs> all right, let's check out this. So we had the helmet turned around backwards so we could hit the fresh side. Forty went in right here. Definitely caved it in. I'd say just about as much as the 9mm did. And Alright guys, I know you probably can't see this on the camera because it's black helmet and all. But it definitely has a humongous bulge on the inside. But no penetration. Alright 
Okay, so the last handgun round that I have is the 38 Special. Let's go shoot that one. Okay, we're gonna be shooting the 38 Special out of my Rozzy M68. We have a plus P round here. Just regular old ball ammo. Here we go. Who's thinking I like this? Maybe Bruce will like that. I missed. I am not going to revolver. Let me load that back up. Okay, guys, let's try this again. 38 special plus P ammo. Woo! Dead center. Let's check that one out. Last handgun round. After that, we're gonna step it up to some bigger rounds. Ah! Look at poor Bruce's face. Definitely impacted his skull just a little bit. <laughs> huh. I would have thought that 38 would have done more damage than that. It didn't even dent it in as much as the other rounds. Definitely went in right there. And. The bulge in the back really isn't that bad. I would say the bulge on the inside is not much more than the 22. Huh. Well, let's step it up. I got some buckshot and I have my AK-47. Buckshot probably won't make it through, but I know the AK will. I'm not going to put it on Bruce's head for these shots because I would like to save Bruce just a little bit for maybe some new other videos. All right, guys. It definitely stopped all the handgun rounds. You would live more than likely. You may have a little brain damage towards the end there with them bigger rounds, but you're not going to have a hole in your head. You're not going to be leaking your brains out. So just for fun, we're going to step it up. Got a Winchester 1200 here. We're going to be shooting Federal Premium Double Alt Buckshot. This should be fun. Shotguns, love them. Let's go check out that damage. I'll bring it back to you. All right, guys, that definitely did some damage. You would definitely be dead. That crushed this helmet in. Your your whole head would be just crushed in. You'd be dead. Check this out. It definitely did not penetrate the Kevlar. There, none of the actual buckshot went through, but. That would be a death blow. <laughs> That's funny. This helmet is awesome. I recommend getting this. I mean, just keep it in your car. You got a protest coming up. Protest, you know, like the left says protest. You know, bottles burning, buildings down, bullets going. In. You got a helmet. You got something to protect yourself. All right. Let's step it up to the next round. I know this one's going to make it through. We're going to do it just for fun. We got the AK. All right, guys, we know this is going to make it through, but we got to get an AK round on this. I love fireballs. Let me go put that out and we'll check out the hole. Yeah. Trying to get it to go out, guys. All right. Woo! I don't even know which side I... Yes, I do. I do where I hit it. On which side? I think it was on this side because that's where the most damage is. 
I don't know which side it hit. There's so much damage. I'm pretty sure right there is the AK round entrance. And we definitely know it went through because that paint can exploded. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, guys. As always, I hope you liked my video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And like I said, guys, check out SafeVest. They are a great company. They have great customer service, and their products are amazing. You never know what you might need. Later, guys.